Hello, this is Paul from Forza Tech. In this video, let's prove CRM 4.5.1 uniqueness of uh, basis representation. Uh, the CRM says if we have a basis for a general vector space, and any vector in the space can be only one unique linear combination of uh, the basis. Okay, that's what we call uniqueness. Why? Okay, so let's say. Mm, if two way exists, V as a vector is uh, the first uh, representation. Let me write, and then I write the second way to represent V. Okay, and uh, we see we use a prime to describe a, a different uh, coefficient. The first coefficient is C one to C, and the second representation as the coefficient. Is C1 prime to C M prime. Okay. Um because we need to prove exactly one way. Therefore we have to see uh the coefficient that should be equal to each other. Is that true? Yes. Now we can just uh, do subtraction. If I say uh here's one, here's two. We just uh, use one, subtract the two, see. We can find this. Okay, so this means uh, the linear combination, a kind of linear combination of V1 to Vn uh, is zero. And this is the coefficient that we already combined. Okay, uh, but if we know V1, V2 to Vn is a basis, right? And the basis should be linearly independent. Okay, so now, uh, so V1, V2 to Vn is linearly independent because they are the basis. And uh, remember, we have a theorem. Uh, we use this 4.4.1. Okay, it says uh, the linear combination equals zero for linearly independent vectors, so the coefficient should be all zero, right? So, therefore, we get this. We get a C1 minus C1 prime is zero. C2 minus C2 prime is zero. And again, the last, all zero, okay? So easily to solve the coefficient that should be equal to each other, right? Okay, this means what? It means a unique representation. That's the proof. Thank you.